So some really exciting news, the Bamboo Lab H2C is now finally available. You can order it right now, at least in the UK you can. It's not too badly priced. Now, just to avoid any clickbaity stuff, I don't have one here, unfortunately. They don't send me stuff in advance or whatever. Um, but let's get into it about why you might want to buy this printer, what's new about it, because there's some really interesting features about this, and why if you're into multi-material printing or color changing and all of that, this is probably the perfect printer for you at this stage. So. First up, that price. It comes in at um, £1,999, and that includes the AMS combo as well. So you'll also get the AMS unit with it to be able to use all of, you see, multiple reels and stuff like that. It's not as much as I was expecting. I thought it would have probably cost a little bit more. It is more expensive than something like the Snapmaker U1, which is obviously, I think, one of the reasons why Bamboo Lab have come out now and basically done this, but it's not too badly priced. And so there's also a standard and ultimate set, which basically includes the AMS2 Pro, plus you get the AMS HT, which is like their single one, and then a whole bunch of induction hot ends. So there's 3.4 millimeter ones, there's a 1.2 millimeter and a 1.6 millimeter as well. So you basically get a whole bunch of the different hot ends. So lots of options available. You can also, if you want to, include it with all like, the laser stuff as well and get the laser combo. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. So let's have a look at actually this printer itself. And it looks really, really interesting. So there is a lot to like. They show off this lovely little video where they talk about we've been working on this for a long time and we introduced it. But basically, in a nutshell, it is a new multi-material system printer which looks absolutely fantastic. But it's getting away from using that old AMS system. So the AMS system, basically, you load up your reels and it takes your, your filament and it feeds it down to the nozzle, prints in that color or that material. Once it's done with that and it needs to change it on the next layer or whatever part of your print it needs to, it then slices that filament, purges out the old filament, takes away that old filament, loads in the new filament, does some more purging, and basically, in this process, there is loads and loads of wasted filament and also a lot of extra time when it comes to your printing. So it means that your cost goes up because you're wasting that filament. Your time of print also goes up because you're having to do all that purge system and those like color and material changes. It works and it works nicely, but it is a very wasteful process. Basically, how this new system works is it has multiple hot ends already installed and basically ready to go. And they compare it to painting. So you would have a different paintbrush for each color that you were using. So I suppose that's quite an interesting analogy. So it's got multiple hot ends on this, prepped and ready to go. And what will happen is when you're changing the color, instead of purging out all that material, it just changes out the hot end. So it's much faster. I think they claim on here it's eight seconds to heat up that hot end and have it ready to start printing. So every time it's changing those colors and materials, it just goes back, swaps out the next one, and then loads up the nozzle. It's a really interesting idea. Now, there have been some concerns around this in the past where other manufacturers have been using like little pogo pins. And if you have something like an iPad Pro, that's probably the best way to describe it that the masses will have. There's these like little almost flat pins that go on the back and when they make contact with an accessory, they're transmitting data and power. It's the same with hot ends and like nozzles. That's something that's been used in other printers. So it would go to collect the next nozzle and it goes and the pogo pins will connect. But there's always this concern that over time, there will be that physical wear on those pogo pins and they could then start to be a bit of a point of failure. With this, it's using induction technology. So it's basically, charging and taking everything wirelessly to get that nozzle going. It's all beyond my mind, but it removes that point of failure. I don't know whether or not it's gonna add an additional point of failure, but it removes that point of failure with pogo pins and potential physical wear out over time. So that's really, really interesting. So basically you're gonna get much faster color changes, far less waste, and just an overall superior version of your multi-material printing. So for those of you out there who are into multi-material printing and you love your Bamboo Lab ecosystem, it's certainly worthwhile having a look at. The printer itself is very reminiscent of basically the HT2 and the H2S in terms of that large build volume. Basically all those same specs that you're already getting on those previous printers. So you're gonna get that large format printing with the multi-material stuff. So all of those fun-fangled new upgrades that came, like you better spaghetti detection, AI detection, better cameras, chamber heating, all of that's gonna be included with this model. 
Now, there was one thing to cover here as well that I wanted to mention because they did mention when they announced this, um, was like six weeks ago or so, they said that this was coming. They said that the H2S and the H2D would be upgradable to this. They have addressed it here as well in their FAQs. So Bamboo Labs' response to this is both HD2 and HD2S users may upgrade to H2C by installing the Vortec upgrade kit. However, the upgrade process is complex and time consuming. So users who want the Vortec experience are recommended to purchase H2C directly. Purchasing H2S and H2D first and upgrading later will incur extra costs. The Vortec upgrade kit is expected to be available in 2026. So quite interesting there. Great, they are making this available for those who've already purchased a H2D or H2S. However, they're very heavily hinting there that this will actually be a quite a complex process to upgrade. So you will need to be quite involved in this and it's most likely going to cost a lot more than buying one of those machines, maybe not the H2S, but the H2D and then this upgrade system as well. So just bear that in mind. If you already have one of these, could be quite interesting. I'm, I, I'd be interested to see what the price of this upgrade kit will be because I'd quite like to upgrade my H2S to this, but price might put me off. One thing that I was really intrigued about, because I know that a lot of people have asked this before and talked about it as like a feature, is if it could change nozzle sizes between it. So you could use like a 0.4 nozzle for some bits, but then when you get into finer detail, you change it over to a 0.2. It doesn't. So I found that hidden away in the FAQs. So it says here that currently the firmware supports a mixed flow rate printing, standard flow plus high flow, but does not yet support mixing different nozzle sizes during printing. If this feature is added in the future, we will provide details through a software update. Now, just to make clear there, to say if this feature is added in the future. So it clearly seems like they're experimenting with it and trying to figure it out, but haven't quite got there yet. That's what I'm reading from this anyway. Now, obviously, you can find out a lot more information on their website as well. They've got their FAQs up. They've got all their information. They've got some comparisons between the printing time using an AMS in the traditional format versus using this new Vortec upgrade system as well. So you can see roughly how much you're actually going to be saving. And there's, there's a lot there to like about it. I said it's mostly, interestingly enough, on their website, in my opinion anyway, is that it kind of just shows off loads of the stuff about just the machine itself rather than the Vortex system. But we already know what that machine has because we've seen the H2S and everything else. Now, if you go through it, they've also got a lovely little comparison here of what's in the box depending on which one you buy. So like if you buy the H2C AMS combo, it tells you everything you're getting in there. It also tells you then if you buy like the laser combo and all of that, what you're getting. So that way, if you're confused like I was when I first looked at it, it's not the most clear when you go into the buying side of things what you're getting it it all's there it is all there which is quite nice and that's pretty much all we've got at the moment so i would imagine we'll get that fantastic bamboo lab printing quality which is pretty much standard across all the bamboo lab machines but now with the new vortex upgrade system i think that looks really interesting the h2c looks like it's going to be a really really exciting upgrade and addition to the Bamboo Lab ecosystem. I do feel really bad for all the H2D purchases. H2S, not so much, because like me, I've just bought a Bamboo Lab H2S. It's a great machine. It's a relatively big gap between the price I pay for that and this. So I probably wouldn't have purchased the H2C. But for all of those who bought a H2D, that gap in price is far less compared to something like the H2C. And if you were buying a H2D, you are probably buying it because you wanted to use that multi-material system and you were printing a multi-material and colors. So there might be a bit of a sour taste in the mouth of some of the fans out there. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that. At least there will be an upgrade kit. Just how involved that will be, I guess we will find out. If you want me to do a video, depending on the price, obviously, I might purchase one of those upgrade kits to do some videos on the H2S to H2C upgrade. I just don't want to break my machine. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is basically what we expected. I think they basically told us this like six weeks ago. We all knew what was coming. It's here now. It's available. And I'm quite excited for it. I'd be interested to know what everyone else thinks as well. Thanks for watching. I hope that's helped. And in the meantime, if you hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps the channel to grow. And then go watch some of my other videos. Take care and happy printing. Bye.